Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Today is Tuesday, October 17th. This is a meeting of the subcommittee for the determination and screening of candidates for the IEB director position. Uh, this is the first such gathering of this subcommittee, uh, which was established by the Gaming Commission. Uh, we are uh, proceeding today, as everyone can see, by way of remote collaboration uh, technology as the law allows. Um, there are three members of this subcommittee, Commissioner Nikisha Skinner, Commissioner Brad Hill, and Chief People and Diversity Officer to the Commission, Dave Muldrew. Um, with, with that, um, Commissioners and uh, Mr. Muldrew, I think the first order of business uh, today would be to select a chair from the group. Um, this is important, of course, just uh, for a couple of reasons. First, for establishing a, an agenda for meetings uh, to come, and then just to oversee the orderly um, uh, pr procedure and operation of a meeting in general. Of course, the chair doesn't have, carry any additional voting privilege or anything along those lines. Um, so if the three of you are so inclined, I think I would turn it back over to you for purposes of selecting a chair among the group. Uh, Brad, you're, uh, Commissioner Hill, you're muted. Uh, thank you, Todd, and thank you for the explanation. I would have uh, no qualms um, making a motion uh, that I would move that Commissioner Nikisha Skinner uh, be our chair for this subcommittee um, that will be hiring our next director of the IEB, if she would like. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. Um, very flattering for sure. Um, I am excited to accept the nomination should um, the, commission, the commission, the subcommittee vote that way. So I believe we would need a second, and that would be from Dave if he was so inclined to do so. I second the motion for Commissioner Skinner to be chair of the subcommittee. So since there's no chair and there's a motion which has been seconded, I think we can call for a vote. Um, and since it's being done remotely, we do have to um, call uh, do a roll call vote. So uh, if it's okay, I'll just call each of you myself, uh, Commissioner Hill. Aye. Commissioner Skinner. I abstain. And Mr. Muldrew. Aye. Okay, I think the vote carries uh, 201. Um, and uh, Commissioner Skinner, you are here by the chair of this subcommittee. Okay, um, one order of business though, Todd, do we have someone taking minutes for this meeting today? Is that you? Uh, well, the meeting is being recorded, so we will yeah. take the recording and uh, transpose those into minutes. Okay, but you'll be responsible for those, right? Yeah. Okay, or someone on your team. Someone will be responsible. Okay, down to the business at hand. Um, on the agenda, we have a discussion and determination of the process for review of candidates for the IEB director. And so... I think Commissioner Hill, I'd like to open it up to you to share what you have in mind as far as the process goes in our public sessions when we talked about um, search firms, you were very vocal um, in your opinion about them. And so I do also remember that at one point in time, there was a suggestion that this committee perhaps piggyback on some of the work that the screening committee for the executive director is undertaking relative to selecting a search firm to assist in that process. I'm not suggesting that that's the way this committee needs to go, but I'd love to hear what you are thinking along those lines. Uh, in my opinion would be this, that we can move forward with this uh, subcommittee and with Dave and with his knowledge and his experience um, to, to work and help us through the process of uh, when we should put this out. Um, I almost said for bid, but uh, for applications. Um, I don't think we need an outside search firm to help us. I think um, us 
uh, three would be able to handle this ourselves with the applications that would come forward. Um, should there be a time, and I guess Todd, I would just look to you uh, for an answer for this. Should there be a time that we um, are having issues with the applications or resumes that come before us and that maybe we need help in an outside firm, we would then maybe uh, speak to that issue at that time. I don't anticipate that will be the case, but should that happen, would we be able to mid process, look to an outside um, firm if we should need it? Or do we have to decide at the beginning? No, I don't think there's any restriction on the process you use, um, as long as it's all discussed in this public forum and um, and it's fair for, for everyone. So as you've described it, that sounds entirely appropriate. So my, my hope, Madam Chair, would be that uh, we can start the process without any outside um, help, um, because I do feel strongly that uh, we three will be able to digest the resumes that will come in and that we will be able to um, make a decision. Um, and I believe with the um, with all the public conversations that we have had regarding the executive director and the IEB director, that I think people are aware that there's an opening there and that there will actually be, you know, a few people that will be applying for this. And I mean, a good amount of people without um, us needing any help from an outside company. Should that not happen, I would hope we would readdress it at a certain time. Yeah, Commissioner Hill, I don't disagree with your approach. I don't object to it. I think it makes eminent sense. Um, I'm particularly attracted to um, an opportunity, if we need it down the line, to revisit the decision not to use, um, or the consensus, I should say, not to use a third party search firm. Um, I think that um, the three of us, as you say, we can get the work done, we can get the objective accomplished um, in a way that is fair and expeditious. Um, one of the things I'm concerned about is not really concerned, but I wonder if we have the means to post this and Dave, you can weigh in to post this as widely as we can, because I know one of the benefits of utilizing a search firm is to get that job posting out there. And so um, what is attractive to me again is the option to revisit the decision. Should we, you know, not obtain a sufficient number of applicants that we feel that we can move forward with making a recommendation for the full commission that we have the ability to 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 circle back and, and engage with the search firm. Um, Dave? Sure. What are you thinking? Well, I I agree. We do not um, in in having. An, I, I don't believe we have a need, need a search firm at this point. I do believe that we can cast a wide net for this role, um, posting it um, in a number of locations, um, boards, uh, diversity boards. I think we have a chance to. Um, truly generate some really good paper um, and responses. So I, 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 would, I would recommend that the process would be, um, would be fine and that we would be able to meet our numbers and I think we'd be, uh, I think we'd be successful in doing that. Okay. Madam Chair. Commissioner Hill. Uh, so while he's uh, talking about that process, could you also elaborate Dave what you would foresee us doing time-wise. So if you could set up a time frame of, uh, I, I understand Madam Chair that we're gonna let the co full commission look at the job description in case they have any changes. And I believe that's happening this week. That's right. And once we get feedback from them, if we need to make changes, we will do that. But my hope would be that uh, Thursday we can come to a consensus on what the job description will be. I hope that's the case. If that is the case, then can you walk me through the time frame, Dave, of of when we would uh, post this job? Certainly, Dave? we would look. 
I'm sorry. Yeah, Dan, if, if I could just just a couple of quick notes in response to Commissioner Hill. Um, I would anticipate that there would will be some changes necessary for the job description um, because similar to the ED job description, um, this one does not reference sports wagering and it does not reference horse racing. So we need to make those very um, basic updates uh, at a minimum. Um, and I intend to do that. In fact, I've started um, to, to jot down some notes of changes. And so that's what will be circulated to the full body on Thursday. And, the, the, and that's the reason why we needed to mark that up in a public session of the commission because if it's marked up already, um, and I or any one of us distributes that among the commissioners, that's considered a violation, I believe, of the open meeting law. So that's the purpose of having that distributed on uh, Thursday. I also think it is reasonable to give the other commissioners an opportunity um, to sit with the job description, not for a long period of time. Um, I think our next meeting after this Thursday, the 19th is November 2nd. Am I right about that? Um, I, so. I, I would envision that we would, um, at that meeting, accept any other comments from other commissioners on this job posting. And from there, I think Chief Muldrew is free to um, do what he, or recommend what he, what he thinks is reasonable in terms of a, time frame to answer your question, Commissioner Hill. Okay. So with, with that information, Madam Chair and uh, Commissioner Hill, we are looking at posting at both internal and externally immediately upon final approval of the job description, immediately. We would then state that it is during the holiday season. So we'll, I would recommend that we post it internally for 30 days and indefinitely, or at least 45 to 60 days externally because it is the holidays. And that's a tough time. Folks are, you, you need to, um, January tends to be the best time for recruitment. December seems to be more difficult. So I would have it extend into January, certainly. Um, I would ensure that working with my team that we have it widely posted externally. Um, I'll have internal processes in place um, as we go through this to manage it and organize the resumes as they come in and have a process in place so for all three of us to review said resumes and take a look where we are. So for right now, um, that would then be the next press would be once we have identified the candidates that we believe are viable candidates, the next step would be to identify those candidates that we wish to meet with. So to get to that point, I would probably say we're now talking sometime and also updating the commission. I would say we're probably talking, we're talking end of January, mid-February before I, I would hope that we would see and get to some viable candidates to refer and to meet with through January. But then we have to go in and communicate and then come back. So probably looking at February. And I would be happy to document this, um, but I'm just really just speaking from my experience and the time of year that we're looking at. Madam Does Chair, go ahead, um, Commissioner Hill. So very helpful, David, and thank you. Um, but I'm not going to lie to you. I believe uh, that's a very, very long time. And there must be a way that we can expedite this process um, in a way that we can get somebody hired um, sooner rather than later. I did not envision that this would take four months to do. And I don't know if there's a response from anybody on that. 
Yeah, neither did I. Um, I want, I, I do, I don't want to rush it for sure. Um, but I also want to give candidates, potential candidates, the opportunity to review the job description and submit, um, put their best foot forward in, in um, their application during this process. Um, so I, my goal is to have the um, job description distributed this Thursday, as I indicated, with um, final approval by the commission at the November 2nd meeting. Um, and so to oh, me, November that's- November 2nd, sorry. Yep, November 2nd. I got you. And to me, that's sort of the kickoff to the, the posting. That's the, sort of the start date, if you will. And just one question, you talked about having the job posted internally for 30 days. Is there a, a basis for that? Is that what was done in the matter of, in the case of the ED position? No, with the ED position, we posted it for 21. Many times with the system, positions within the commercial, within the Commonwealth are posted for 12 days and then you have to repost them. I was extending, I was ex extending these two because I thought it was important that we had it open to candidates internally for more than 12 days. So that's why I pushed it out. It could be 21, but certainly that's why I extended internal, just to make sure that those who were, folks were interested within the Commonwealth would have an opportunity to apply. And, and that's fair. Um, is there a reason or a rule, uh, a reason why we wouldn't, or a rule against posting internally and externally simultaneously? No, that's what I plan on doing. Okay. I plan on doing, I think the mistake I made, for some reason I thought December 2nd, November 2nd, I was thinking 12-2, it's 11-2. Once we have 11-2 and we're up, we should see candidates, we should be seeing candidates posted on 11-3. We should start seeing candidates within a two or three week period. So that's by the end of November. Yeah. I apologize for that. And then we're going into the holiday, which would be, you know, we may have, we'll have interviews for us that we may want to review pre-Christmas, pre-holiday period. And maybe we're looking at viable candidates first or second week in January. Mm -hmm. I was I was one month off. Madam so, Chair? Yeah. Commissioner so, Hill. So to follow up on your question, um, I would recommend if it was a 12 day, um, I would actually recommend that we keep it open for 21 days internally. So, but to follow up on your question about external, is there a reason why we wouldn't have the same amount? Help, help work me through why, why we're giving more time for external than internal. Reason, um, Commissioner Hill, the reason for more time is you have a larger market that's interested, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be filled with the qualified level that we need. So the more time we have posted gives us an opportunity to review resumes and have resumes coming in that will be, now normally when you're sending resumes, what normally happens is that probably the most qualified resumes come in within the first 14 to 20 days. They really do. And then it may, it may begin to diminish as it goes out. So if we, if we were to say, um, if we're posting it on November 3rd and it was concluded um, December 31st, I wouldn't have an issue with that, but you wanna keep your external open longer just to make sure that it covers all Folks, they're distracted. There could be some holiday issues and they have an opportunity to respond, which would, which would be online in the system. So that would go in and we would monitor. One of the processes would be is that I would have my team monitor on a daily basis the number of resumes that are coming in. And I would be communicating to both the Madam Chair and yourself the numbers 
and based on the numbers also dictate how soon this can be handled. If we have a very large response, there may not, may, there may not be a need. A lot depends on the type of response and the quality of the response, if that helps answer your question. And similarly to what we discussed earlier with an outside firm, what I would like to do, Madam Chair, is I'm, I'm putting out numbers. We don't have to agree to them at this point, but 21 days internally, 45 days externally, should we not get the resumes in that time frame that we hope to get, we could always extend it at some point in the future. Is that accurate? Could that be uh, done? I'm turning to Chief Muldrew. I believe it could oh. be done. Um, uh, uh, Commissioner Chair, that, uh, sorry, Commissioner Hill. Yes, that could be done. Yes, absolutely. So my have that flexibility. So my recommendation to you two would be 21 days internal applications and then 45 days external. Well, can I ask a clarifying question, uh, Chief Muldrew? Um, would we not? be interested in giving um, any internal applicants, potential internal applicants, the same amount of time in which to apply. So just 145 days to apply to both internal and external. We could, I'd like to, we can, Madam Chair, we can. My, my issue here is that my experience has been, there may be a finite number of folks qualified for this role internally and we may hear enough but i would also want to check to make sure that what does the system allow for extensions when posting i don't have that technical information and i would i'd want to find that out before i answer because it's driven by a central uh, through hrd and i want to make sure i could i could um better better answer that question but my own opinion on it I see no reason why we could not. Okay. Okay. Then, then could I just propose a slight adjustment, um, Commissioner Hill, to what your recommendation is? I would I would <clears throat> 30 days internally with the 45 days for the external candidate. That would be that would be fine. Okay. That's good. Just buys a little, little bit more time. Okay. Um so we don't need a vote on any of this at this point, right? Todd, Commissioner Hill, it's just um, by consensus, great. Yeah. All right, um, just back to the job description. Um, you all have the job description, correct? I think it was distributed by Troop D. Um, so I just wanna confirm that you all have it. Um, I, will, I will send it. Um, to Trudy, to um, my marked up version that is, to Trudy to include in the public meeting packet tomorrow. And of course, if you have any um, edits, uh, I think Thursday would be your opportunity to incorporate, to have those incorporated into the, into the document. Okay. All right. Um, one other thing I wanted to deal with around process, um, I think, Dave, you alluded to potential interviews. I think it was you, Dave. Yes. So I, for one, would be very interested in conducting um, some form of interview as part of this process. And we don't have to hash out the details right now because it is still early and we don't have any candidates. But um, Todd, it would be helpful or maybe um, a, a subsequent meeting in the near future, maybe maybe you know the week after um, the November second meeting, we could go over what the parameters are for that. So I'd be looking for an in in depth review, if you will, um, from you on how we should go about um, the interview process here for any candidates, both internal and external, and what means we have available to us um, for an executive session. Before we get there too, I think we, we should talk about how those potential candidates will be identified 
-hmm. both as just an applicant in general. I don't know that that would be necessary if we're not considering seriously considering the candidate for the for an interview. Um, but just you know, sort of the the ground rules relative to just having these discussions in public would be would be helpful, Todd. All right. Anything to add? Anything um, that we didn't cover? I know it's still new, still fresh. We're still in the very beginning stages, but do either of you, Chief Muldrew or Commissioner Hill, have anything along the lines of process you'd like to address today? I, th I think um, we've set up the time frame. We've set up uh, the job description. And I think we wait um, till November 3rd, let them fly, see what comes in. Okay. Um, so, I, I, I would just say to you, Madam Chair, I'm experienced um, in this a little bit. I've done one already at Mass Gaming Commission, but I also did it um, back when I used to be a select person many moons ago. And I would just say to you that when the resumes start coming in and you start reading them, uh, you're going to see firsthand um, which one should be moving forward and which one should not be. Pretty quickly, huh? Okay. That's, that's been my experience. And Dave, I don't know if you want to add to that or not, but. No, no, uh, Commissioner Hill and Madam Chair, I, I hope we have a very good response. Um, I really do. And I, and I hope we attract folks that are possibly in other roles. So they're active and we have a chance to meet with them, but I'm, I'm optimistic. I truly am. And I think we can, in our subsequent meeting, we should discuss the questions and I can make recommendations as to um, how the the types and um, potential examples, Madam Chair and Commissioner Hill, that we may be able to use to make sure we're consistent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, for sure. Um, Todd, anything that we should cover that we didn't around, around process? Nothing comes to mind. I think you. this is a good start. Agree. All Excellent. right. If there's nothing else, could I have a motion to adjourn? Yeah, move to adjourn. I second the motion to, to, second the motion to adjourn. Okay, I'll do a roll call. Commissioner Hill? Aye. Chief Muldrew? Aye. And that's a yes for me. And thank you all.